Another day, another Rangers high profile exit. Welcome back to the channel. The international break is here, but Rangers, they don't keep it boring because Craig Robertson is set to leave the club. Of course, this is on top of all the other exits that we've had so far in recent months. We've talked about James Bisgrove and the many others that have happened, whether it's, you know, due to health issues or whatever, you know, the likes of John Bennett stepping down. But I just look at Rangers and like, right, see talking about all these, the boardrooms and the higher up, it's not my forte, I don't really like talking about it, but at the end of the day, you can't keep losing these roles, these members, and not replace them. You know, the longer we go on without replacing these people, it's going to be a struggle. And we're in the middle of a season, it's an international break. You, you get, I mean, there was an international break this time last month, there'll be an international break this time next month. I feel these two weeks is pretty much a perfect time to bring people in, but it just seems like we've, we've got about one person, then about 20 people's job, but you've got obviously the new interim board boss, um, John Gilligan. He faces another role to fill. So yeah, Robertson, it looks like he's going to step down. There is no confirmation yet. It's all in the media. I'm assuming Rangers, I've kept a close eye on Twitter, there's actually like no mention from Rangers themselves, but he is going to be quitting the club. It looks like it's pretty much 99.9% guaranteed. You're just waiting on the confirmation from Rangers and give it quick one quick glance over here. No, there ain't, there ain't any confirmation from Rangers. Absolutely not. So John Gilligan, he's going to have to now replace big Craig Robertson. And that's another senior figure heading for the Ibrox exit door. I don't really understand it now. He's been at the club. He has, I mean, if you're wondering what his role is, it's the head of Academy Football Business and Education. And that was back in 2016. So he's actually one of the board members that's been there quite a long time. I mean, that puts you in at, what, eight years? So a lot going down there. Um, now, youth boss Seb Jacobs, meanwhile, he also packed his bags. He's away. He's away back to Holland with uh, Eredivisie Giants Fire Nord. Gilligan... Obviously, was brought back to replace Bennett. And this is what he said. And I quote, I will stay on as long as possible, as required. The main priority is to get a chief executive. We are working on that right away. I can stay on indefinitely. I'm expecting a few months and a chairman to come in to end of quote. So, a few months and then a chairman's going to come in. Now we need a new head of football and recruitment. We need a, a youth boss, all that sort. We, we, we need about seven people to come in. And is it going to happen? Is it going to be sorted relatively soon? Are we looking... I mean, you want these things sorted as soon as possible. But at the same time, you do want the correct you know, appointments. You don't want to just go out and rush and you know, like panic buy. I mean, it's a bit weird panic buying a board, like board members. I mean, you, you would associate that with transfers and players. But... I mean, how long can this really go on? I mean, say you lose, say another person leaves in a couple of weeks' time and then another person after him. It's like the amount of time and effort that's going to have to be applied to bring in more people in could just be used better elsewhere, i.e. the players. But in terms of the players, John Souter didn't train with the Scotland squad on Tuesday. Um, obviously, there's a lot of injuries floating about these days. And I don't think just because he didn't train with them necessarily means that he's injured but it would be really bad if John Souter got injured man I look at the centre backs at the club Balligan obviously still injured you've got Robin Proper who I don't know man I, people seem to be blinded by this guy and think he's great he's making John Souter look like Maldini and John Souter prior to proper come in, when he was partnered with Goldson, I get it, you know, he, he liked him and Goldson were the same centre-back in the sense, like, they both have the same foot and they, they have to play, he's playing out of position, kind of, right? But for me, I think John Sutter's been Rangers' best defender and I think if he gets injured, it's going to affect us massively. And I think actually with Sutter, he came in and then obviously he was out for a period, but ever since he's came back from that period, John Sewer, he's pretty much been injury free and considering that the, the guy's entire career has been hampered by injuries, we've got John Sewer in a clean bill of health. 
and obviously we're talking about oh he's missed training I don't think there's, no, there's nothing in it he is 28 but it's weird that a player throughout his career that was injury prone came to Rangers and has stopped being injury prone when you look at the likes of Danilo Cortez players that have left out the door like you know Jack Roof you know Neil Mass is obviously still in the door it's weird for a player who was injury prone to come in and stop the injuries and for me I think he is our best defender big soapy big John and uh, I mean hopefully he can uh, stay fit for us, I mean honestly, but if that means not even seeing a minute the guy at international level this uh, in these two weeks, then by all means go ahead. I don't want to see the guy getting injured going up against Croatia or going up against Cristiano Ronaldo. I want to see him, I want to see him come back, wrap him in bubble, uh, bubble wrap and all that good stuff. But anyway, Craig Robertson, he's away. Is it a big deal? It's another shock, I mean it's come out of the blue, I mean it literally has come out of the blue. But who's going to replace him? How long is it going to take to replace each member? That's going to keep on rattling on um, in the next coming months. But anyway, guys, leave thoughts down below and peace.